Hello, 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 everybody. Good morning. Well, good afternoon, actually. It's now half past 12. So good afternoon on this Monday, the 29th, is it? 30th. 30th of May is already. Honestly, the time is flying by. Um, so hello, welcome. If you're watching from either YouTube or Facebook, it's lovely to see you here. Please drop a comment. Let me know you're here. Uh, my name is Pip Todman and I run Queen Pip Cards and the Card Making Know How membership, uh, which is a place where you can learn all about card making, funnily enough. Um, and today we are going to be chatting about kits. Uh, but what to do with kits once you've done the kit, because that's happened to probably most of us. Um, hi, Lisa. Hi, Julie. Nice to see you here from lovely Down Under. <laughs> Uh, it's very wet and miserable here, to be fair. It's trying to sun, but it's not really achieving that. Um, but no matter where you are or what you're doing, hopefully I will be able to give you a few um, ideas, something to think about today on how to take your kits and make them into something else. Hi, Cheryl. Nice to see you. So if anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about by a kit, there are lots of kits on the market. This is our kit, the Stamping Up kit. Uh, they come like this in a lovely box and they have everything inside them that you need to make cards, to make the cards or the projects that are actually included in the kit in the box itself. Hi, Kathleen. Nice to see you from Australia too. Um, so, yeah, kits are great things and they're fantastic for new people. So if you've never, ever done any card making before and you've stumbled across this and you're thinking, I'd love to do some card making, but I don't know where to start then a kit is absolutely the place for you to start. But if you have um, bought a kit, you might think, well, then what do I do after that? So that's kind of where I'm coming from today. But also you might be like me and you might be a demonstrator or a card maker who crafts like all the time. So I'm making cards all day, or well, not all day, every day, I wish. Um, but I'm making cards on a regular basis for classes or events, uh, for my own benefit, my own use, um, or just for my lives and things like that. So um, I also use kits. I love kits. I run kit classes sometimes with people. Um, I've done kit workshops with people just recently. And kits are great things. But they do leave you with a few bits afterwards and you're thinking, well, what do I do with that now? So that's kind of where I'm coming in. So who else has joined us? Hello, Denise. Um, oh, Julie's got the same weather. Very wet and very cold. Yeah, you're heading into your winter, aren't you? Um, Amanda's here from Australia. Uh, Susan's here from the UK. Hannah's here from the UK. Hello, everybody. Lovely to see you all. It's so nice that you're here. OK, so. That's kind of a little bit of a, a run up in terms of what we're going to be doing and what I'm going to be looking at. And I'm going to be trying to pair some of the things that we already have um, with some of the kit elements and then maybe something that you might want to get as well. So let me switch cameras. Here we go. So this is what they come like, as I say, in a box. And when you open it up inside, um, there's lots of stuff. OK, so this. Um, this is one that doesn't include any stamping. So this one's fairly easy to go through. You know, once you've done all the pieces, there's very little that you're left over with. You're left over with a few extra sentiments in different languages, but that's it. Everything else you'll have used to make your cards and that's fine for, for um, a very, you know, newbie crafter who doesn't doesn't want to risk stamping yet. Although I always suggest that you give stamping a go because it's actually a lot easier than it looks. Um, so yes, yeah, so you get your envelopes and you get all your die cut pieces, etc, etc, and all that kind of lovely jazz that all comes in there. But I'm not really talking about exactly what you get in the kit, as it were. Uh, I'm talking about what you get when you when you finish the kit. So let's take another kit as an example. So here's the kit, You're My Anchor. OK, and this kit makes um, these five little cards and these four boxes. So you get 10 cards. I need a bit more light on here, don't I? Let's just brighten things up a bit here. There we go. That's a bit better. And a little bit more over there. So you get these 10 cards to make. OK, two of each, two of each design. And then you get four of these little boxes. So you can either put the cards in the boxes or you can gift something in a box with a card, etc. There's lots of different options. Um, 
And so the kits come and they have all these lovely instructions that show you what you're going to be doing. Uh, and then on the back here, it kind of tells you what you have um, to play with. So the things that you're generally left over with are a few die cut elements. You generally have more than you need, some labels and this little stamp set and this little ink spot and a block. So you're like, OK, well, I've made the cards. I've done all that. I've got a few bits left over. What can I do with them now? That's kind of where I'm coming in. So I always recommend that people purchase uh, when you're first starting out that you purchase some note cards. OK, so I'm going to do a couple of these little cards just to show you how quick and easy they are and how the stamps work. And then we're going to look at some note cards. And one of the other things I want to talk to you about is these things which come in your in your kit, because they seem to be the thing that just confuses everybody. I mean, like everybody gets confused with these. I don't I'm not quite sure why, but they do. So I thought, right, well, we'll talk about that. And then I'm going to take you on and make a card that's completely different from the kit. Uh, so these are glue dots. OK, and the white is one side of the backing and the uh, plastic sheet is the other side of the backing. And in the middle, sandwiched between, is actually a dot of sticky glue. OK, so when you use them, you want to take them off of this and then you want to take the top off as well. So let me show you how those work. So here's one I made earlier, <laughs> true blue Peter fashion. I did change it up slightly from the actual design because I decided to add on my little hearts because I don't think we use the little elements in the stamp set enough, actually. And we could do so much more with them. I'm just gonna brighten this up even more. I don't know if it needs it, but how's that looking? Is that looking OK for you? Hopefully it is. All righty. So let us make um, this one. And they all come with these darling little envelopes. Look, aren't they just gorgeous? Um, and they just, you know, slide in there. And I've changed this one up a little bit because I've used some of our sweet sorbet um, twine on here rather than the twine that's in the that's in the pack. And, you know, that's the thing. You can just you can just add extra bits if you want to or mix and match stuff. So this one very simply comes with um a little card like this which has got gold in, um, already foiled onto it and this already done then you're going to pop one of these out from the packs that you get so you get some lighthouses you get some anchors and you get some uh what's the other thing you get lighthouses anchors circles big circles little circles and then these um sort of little tag things so the first thing that we're going to do is you get a little ink spot, which I've now stuck on my um, display board, so I don't actually have the right one with me. But you get a little ink spot that's this size. OK, so this is um, the size of the ink spot that you get and they last a really long time. They're very good. There's no reason for you to change up what you use. Um, you'll definitely be able to use it after you've used the kit. Um, but just for my own personal ease, um, I've left that on my board and I've got my Pacific Point stamps um, ink pad out because that's what that's what this is for. Uh, and then they get lots and lots of different um, different things. So you're my anchor. Congratulations. You're a lifesaver. Adventure awaits. Thanks for you. Ahoy. And lots and of lots of little tiny stamps that are in here, which we don't actually use apart from the heart and these little birds. So I thought, well, let's just do this. And the little birds go on this little card and they sort of go in here-ish. And you have to sort of find a position where you're not going to go over the gold too much. There we go. Um, so that's them. Then we'll go for, what should we go for? I'm going to go for you're a lifesaver or congratulations or you're my anchor or adventure. I like adventure awaits. Or congratulations. Let's go congratulations. I haven't done one of those for a bit. So let's do that. We'll pop that on there. And then because they're see-through, you can take a deep breath. Let it out as you stamp. Oh, like that. And then that way you're not stressed when you're stamping and it's so much easier. Okay. <laughs> 
now i haven't used i haven't got the twine that's in the pack um again i've stuck that on my board it's quite a thick twine to be honest um and i prefer our linen thread i'm just going to go out and say it i prefer our linen thread or one of our little threads that we've got um in our twine packs and this is the pack um fan baker's twine and it has a poppy parade in it and now this is um i think it's technically calypso coral but you know it works so i'm going to go with that uh so for this one actually i don't know if we do actually have any twine on this one let me just go back you can always go back and check your instructions uh where is it i've lost it no no twine just that that's easy enough then uh, but we will be using twine for another one so we'll come back to that in a second hi paula from wyoming nice to see you this morning oh and linda's joined us as well hello linda now i'm using little dimensionals here just because they fit nicely onto my um lighthouse but you can you'll use whichever come in the pack there's there's a variety that come in the um in the kits some of them have got big ones some of them have got little ones some of them have um, got more glue dots and various things but you don't want to make it too high okay so we are going to be using some glue dots in a moment so this one's going to go on this is fine to be lifted up and you want to align your lighthouse to where the light is coming from obviously because it's a lighthouse with beams and stuff uh, but you could probably take it down a smidge i think yeah sticky there we go i like that uh, and then i'm going to use these glue dots so let me show you how i use these because as i say this seems to be the thing that everybody struggles with the most um if you don't have fingernails like me you may wish to find something like a pair of um tiny tweezers like narrow tweezers um or a pin like a compass pin um, or if you've got one of our take your pick tools you can use take your pick tool and you're lifting off from underneath onto your onto your tool and then we're going to stick and i'm i'm going to stick actually just one in the middle because that's where it's going to stick most to that and then i'm going to put one of these at either end because it's going to be the same height so once you've got that and you've got it stuck onto your piece of card can you see that whoops there we go you've got that now you need to take this top off and i just poke at it like this and it just lifts it does tend to get stuck on one side so then you can just grab it with your fingers or push it off on the side but it's easier if you do it on the flat i find okay so now we're going to take that and then that's going to stick to the uh, lighthouse with the dimensionals or foam pads sticking on the other side okay so that's how you would use your uh, little dimensional and foam pads so they all come in the kit and that's what i mean when it say it's all inclusive i mean it's all inclusive the only thing you need is a pair of scissors so that you can cut your twine uh, and then they just that just slides in there and there you have another beautiful little card ready to go they're just so cute aren't they really 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 cute so that's that one uh what else have i got here this one this one's even easier but does require a little bit of bravery because you're going to stamp actually on your card now you'll notice i've been using um this funny thing here this is called a bone folder okay uh, and we i sell these so you can buy them from me um it just helps see how it helps to just flatten that card a little bit and hold it there then we're going to have an anchor up here and some uh writing down here so for this one i'm going to do exactly the same just for speed and ease so we'll have congratulations coming in down there it's got two hearts so that seems fairly sensible to have congratulations on there and this one's got to be the quickest one going because now you just attach um actually i'm going to do glue dots i think that's going to be easier with glue dots so we'll put our glue dots on and put one here 
see how they fit inside the lines of the elements. And then I'll we'll pop one on either corner, like so, onto this thing. I don't know what those pointy bits are called, but it's the tip of the anchor. You know what I mean. There. And you don't need masses. That'll do. Now, before I put it on, I'm going to grab a little bit of this poppy parade twine and just cut a piece off. And obviously you could use that. You do. You would use the twine that's in the kit, which is sort of like a crumb cake colour. And pop that in there. I could have used the blue, but it's slightly different blue. And I wasn't sure how much that was going to show up. But actually now I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, oh, blue would be nice, wouldn't it? Because it's got blue in this set. Oh, that's going to be fine. No one's going to notice that difference. Excellent. Oh, my scissors are gluey. <laughs> They're not my gluey scissors, so that's not good. So <laughs> they need a clean. Right, here we go. So we'll pop this through the hole, like so. And then I'm going to tie that through like that. And that's how it ends in the um, the one on the instructions. But I I like a bow, you know me. So oh, that just pinged off somewhere. I have no idea where that went. Come on. Off you come. There we go. This card reminds me of um, we went to see we went to see uh, Top Gun Maverick yesterday. Fantastic film. If you get a chance, go and see it. And that he's obviously in the navy, so it's kind of very apt. I'm going to bring that in here. Just stick that down, and then I'm going to tie mine off and do it with a bow. But that's just me. You don't have to do that. But I like a bow. There we go. And I know anchors probably don't have bows on them, but you know, what the heck. Make it a little bow. Because it's a little card. There we go. Nice. Bring that one out a little bit more. Okay, let's get out my non, hopefully non gluey scissors so I can cut that. So yes, I would definitely recommend going and see Maverick. It's brilliant, if you, especially if you love the original Top Gun. It's very good. Right, so that's our second little card. Aren't they cute? So I'll just clear away all this trash. There we go. It's rubbish. So those are two that sort of follow along the lines of the um, of what's in the instructions, and this one does as well. I just added the the um, extra hearts on there. So, and they've got gold hearts and bits that you can pop off and put on as well. So it doesn't it doesn't just stay just like this. But I think you'll agree that they're really nice, cute little cards. Um, so that's the the actual kit, um, or at least some of the cards from the kit. And you know, I think they're great for guys' cards. You could send them to. Um, teachers at the end of um, term to say thank you for you know lighting the way for my children's education or whatever um, lots of things that you could do with this particular kit um, even if you are a card maker yourself and, and do other things but supposing you've got that you've done that now and now you want to know what to do with the rest of the bits that you've got because you're now left with this really nice stamp set and it's like, well, there's lovely bits on here you've not even really used. So how could you use these in your card making? So I'm going to show you a couple of cards. We're going to start playing. Then I'm going to show you how we're going to pull it all together with something else. So the first thing is I always like to show you is a note card, as I said before. Um, this would be your next step if you have done your... Um, you know, you've made your kit, you're just starting out on card making and you want to now progress to something that you make yourself. Um, but you don't have very many supplies. You might only have the kit supplies. So in that case, you want to know 
well how can I make a, a little note card that follows on from from that um, and I'm just going to take out these let's get that noisy bit off right here we go take out these little things here I think my favorite has to be this little mini starfish which apparently we're not allowed to call starfish anymore um, something to do with their technical abbreviations or whatever it is they're now sea stars or something but I call them a starfish still um, and then we've got this lovely little heart which I'm going to pop onto a long block because I've run out of little blocks now obviously you get a block with the kit so you've got a, a block that you can use as well and then I like these waves which again not used in any of the designs per the kit um, and we'll come back to the rest in a second so the block that you have will fit all of these on so you don't need to worry about getting another block I'm just using multiple blocks because you don't want to sit here and watch me clean my blocks all the time <laughs> you know you don't want to do that that's boring over lunch period all right so let's start thinking about what else can I do well you could just stamp straight on so you could stamp straight on let's do a nice bright let's do a bright poppy parade lighthouse the only thing that they don't have is they don't have the beams of light coming out from the lighthouse which I feel is a little bit of something that they've missed you know they could have they could have put those in but I guess they they put in what they had so you can stamp straight on like so and you could then put some put some little waves along the bottom of this and you might only have to buy you know you might only have a couple of um inks to go with it but that's okay there we go. i'm just gonna put a few waves like that just a it's a stylized card of waves it's not like oh look there's a whole bunch of waves and it looks really like waves it's more stylized than that uh, but that's okay and then you could add just a simple sentiment across the top and if you're worried about getting your sentiment straight then i recommend you just grab grab some basic white cardstock or any white cardstock and you're just going to cut them okay so we'll stamp and then cut this says congratulations what else have we got you're a lifesaver that's always a good one for someone who's done something that you definitely needed doing and didn't manage to do yourself it's like a thank you but even better I always think so we can just stamp that down on a little piece of paper a little bit of cardstock and then cut that to size and you have an incredibly simple but attractive very quick and easy note card and if you want to you can use your spare dimensionals and just pop that up could even put a bit of twine underneath it if you wanted to i'm going to leave it as it is so it's really stylized very very simple but now you're using the um, images that you've got in the card kit um, you know on your own cards making your own cards so you just have to get some note cards and card blanks are fairly easy to get hold of obviously you can get them from me but you can also get them in other places so i know that quite a lot of people who start making cards have stashes of a few things that they then don't really know what to do with or how to use so we can pop that one up there you're a lifesaver there we go that's a very nice sort of simple very simple note card you could knock hundreds of them now if you wanted to um <laughs> uh, again you know very easy to do uh when you are new to card making ah oh, thanks bear both says cute cards hi tilly just sneaking in on a break from work always a good always a good time to watch me on a break from work sneakily i like it i like it a lot um so that's that's one card you could make uh, how are we doing? Are we done half an hour already? Ah, Kim's caught me live too. Hello, Kim. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, just really simple. But as I say, you've taken that stamp that you followed on the instructions of that and then you've just turned it into that. So that's your note card. And of course, we never like to leave our envelopes looking empty. So
so I like the idea of popping a little blue starfish, which I'm going to call starfish, not sea stars. A little tiny blue starfish, because they look kind of fun. Look at that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> We've got a little starfish on one side. And what could we put on the other? Oh, we could put a little sailing boat on the other. Look at that. Lovely little sailing boat just popping it on there. Nice. So now our envelope has got a little sailing boat and a little starfish and goes with our note card. So that's that one. So moving on from there, I decided to, again, stick with my note card theme. This time I've cut an extra piece of, of white and then I put all of the little elements together. So the boat, the, um, the wheel, the anchor and the starfish all on one block and just stamped all over that piece of card. And that formed my background. And then I just added the lighthouse stamped with the words on one of those spare um, strips that you get because you get so many spare of those and as long as you stamp the other ones okay. Um, and a little bit of twine in there as well. And then I finished off because, you know, we now start to think about adding additional bling. Um, I finished off with some of these brushed metallic dots because they're always they're always good with the gold. Goes with the gold foiling, I thought, quite nicely. So it's just a step up from that, but it's still not particularly difficult. You will have to cut some cardstock and that's about it. So that's the next sort of layer. If you wanted to know what to do after you'd done that, you could do something like this. Oh, thanks, Kim. Kim says, great card. Uh, Sue says she likes that idea. That's nice. Um, and Kat says, hello. Hello, Kat. Nice to see you. So, so yeah, so that's those. But then I'm thinking, oh, I want to go a bit bigger than that now. What can I do that will work with maybe other things that I might have in my stash. So now I'm thinking I want to make a full blown card, which for me is a, um, is our normal A6 size. And I think I want a color and I think I'm gonna go with Tahitian Tide just because it's new and it's pretty and I love it. So, <laughs> so I'll have a Tahitian Tide. Oh, actually, no, do you know what we could do? We could do a white, even better, let's do a white. And then a Tahitian tie bait, um, layer. Let's do that even better. Let's do that. There we go. Nice. Uh, and then we'll need a layer of white cardstock, like so. And for this card, I'm bringing in something else I've got at home, uh, which just happens to be a stamp set that's got a boat on it. Because I figure, well, you'd want to put a boat with a boat so this is the let's set sail stamp set which i really really like and it has this lovely little boat on it so i'm thinking well you know it's all seafaring stuff right so surely we should be able to do something to put these together now interestingly this one doesn't have any kind of waves apart from this strippy thing here and this sort of reflection thing here. So I'm thinking, well, that's quite handy because we've got waves. Um, so we can add to that. Ah, oh, thank you. Tilly says, bright and cheerful. Thanks very much. And Cheryl says she's got that kit and never sure what to do with it afterwards. Oh, thank you. So she's loving the cards so far. That's good. Yeah, sometimes it's just hard, isn't it? You know, you've got stuff and you think, well, I've done that now, so I'll just put that away. I'll put it away and I'll never look at it again. And then that's a real waste of a of a lovely card kit, which you could be doing something with and sort of reusing. But especially if you're new, because you don't have a lot of stash, so you want to make the most of what you've got, right? So we're going to put this little one here. So I'm going to stamp that straight on. Now, Tahitian Tide is going to be what I use for my... Um, sales I've decided so I'm going to stick with mm, what am I going to stick with yeah I'm going to stick with this for the sh for the base of the boat so this is like the um what's that the mast 
So the base of the boat and the mast, we'll stick with that there, like so. And then we are going to use a little bit of Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay. So we use the Bermuda Bay, even, <laughs> for the little shadow that's going to go underneath. Love mixing up colours like this. And this is sort of the next thing that you would probably do is to buy some more colours. And you don't have to buy the big pads. We have a lovely selection of small ink spots, which are the same size as what you'd have been using in the kit. Um, and you can buy an entire you know, selection of those. Um, and then that way you've got like a neutral, you've got some brights, you've got some blues, you've got some, um, I think you've got a yellow and a green, all kinds of you know decent colours. Okay, so let's now do a little bit more with the C. So we'll just pop some C in. There we go. So now it's looking like, you know, it's a boat and it's on the sea. We're going to keep going with our theme of not really making them very specific. We might even go through one of those. Oh, shock horror. There we go. Like so. And then a little bit under there. A bit under there. But this boat, it's not really on its own. You know, there's probably other boats around. So we might add a little bit more water behind it's on the water it's not sort of never in the water is it Do you know what i mean it doesn't like the water doesn't stop just there just because the boat's there so we'll just add a bit more you'll see the reason for this in a moment because now what i'm going to do is like in the deep distance we're going to add another boat because i think this boat looks remarkably similar to this little sucker here we're just going to put him like just in the distance so he's a bit further away so you can't see him so well which is why we're doing the stampy off thing so i'm stamping him once onto a bit of card and then once off yeah, i should put that one maybe in here like that. so now we've got like a flotilla of boats but they're a little bit further away but that's okay then we need to make the sails. Now the sails use a punch. You could actually just stamp them out and cut them out by hand. That's also fine, but there is actually a coordinating punch. Um, Tahitian Tide is what I'm after. So we're going to use a little bit of cardstock and we're going to pop now, I always figure when I'm trying to work out where to stamp, it needs to go that direction because that's how you're going to put the card in so you can see where it's stamping. So you want to sort of stamp it that direction. OK, and then for the other one, that needs to go that way. So we'll pop that in sort of here-ish. And yep, I know I'm going to probably waste some cardstock, but, you know, it's... Normally I'd cut that down into a strip, but let's just go with it. So we'll do this one first. So we come in here and pop that out. And then come in here and pop this one out. And it's so cool because it just lines up lovely. It's a nice crunching sound. Make sure you get all your bits out though. Don't want to leave anything behind. That's when they start to jam. Okay, so find the ones that have got the ink on. You don't need to throw that away because you could do that on a moon, like a real dark and misty moon, moonlight. I was going to say but that's a colour, but you know what I mean, like a, an, an evening sky with a white boat and a white sail or whatever. So you don't need to get rid of that. But now what we're going to do is we're going to add our little our little um, sails to this guy. And again, I would use my dimensionals. So I'll put some little dimensionals like so. 
and you can't get to the tip but I'm going to suggest that we just put some glue on that so that one there yeah, I mean you could do you could cut them down but I'm actually going to do this and then add a little bit of wet glue just on that end Ooh, not that much though that's been in the sun over the weekend <laughs> You can always tell when my glue's running that well, it means it's been in the sun. Or it's brand new, and I know it's not brand new, so. Peel off your little backings. There we go. And then pop this down. There, like so. And then you can just tack that down if you want to. It, it, it needs holding to stick, but that's fine. I'm going to do the same on here. Then I feel like the um, sails are actually attached to the thing. If they're just all left up, I feel a little bit like it's been left to the waters, if you know what I mean. So pop this one down here. I can't actually see where that one's going. That one's going good. That's right. Lovely. There we go. Needs to be a little bit straighter, but that's okay. Uh, and then just hold that down again just to glue those ends down. So now we have our little sailboats with our big sailboats whizzing around on the sea. And all you had to do was add another stamp set and a punch really because you're going to have some more inks anyway because you like the inks there we go and then i would put a, we'll put some words up there again so get your card base give it a good old squish like so and then pop this down here <laughs> I'm just giggling because I've just seen a couple of comments. I'm going to I'm going to grab those for you in a second. There we go. There we go. So now we've gone from you know not really having anything to do apart from a kit, and now you've got this. Now you could add if you wanted to. You could quite easily you know add the lighthouse in the background. It would definitely work. But I'm just adding the words at this point uh, I don't think you're a lifesaver really goes with it so let's pick another one what should we pick adventure awaits perhaps that sounds good we like that adventure awaits let's do that so by using the um just the different colors and that bigger boat but we're still using the words, the little boats and the waves from the kit. Isn't that cute? Just so easy to do. And it just gives you more possibilities of things to do with your kit once you have finished it. And I think that's important because, you know, you've paid for the kit um you need to get the best value out of it and i think the best value is when you not only make the beautiful cards that are in the kit that have been created for you but you also you know add on some extra ones um that you've come up with yourself or that you've seen what other people make so let's have a look we've got some comments coming in Bev says, love this set and punch. Yes, it is a cracker, isn't it? It's just delightful. And so good for men's cards, especially. Kim says, love, love it. Love those colours together. Those two sets are going very well together. Yes, they are. I agree. I think they're just, it was almost made, made for itself, perhaps. And Sue says, loving that card and colours. Thank you, Sue. Now, obviously, I would, um, at this point, I would also add a little bit of sparkle. We've got our words going in at the top here. Um, you could put some bling for sure. You know, always good to have a little bit of 
bling going on. If you wanted to add something to the to the boat itself, we've got these lovely um, matte dots, which go very nicely because they are coordinating with the Tahitian tide. Uh, or you could just add these, which I really have found these. These are gems. These are not, I don't think these are very obvious in the new catalogue at all. Uh, these are the iridescent pearls and my word are they iridescent they're like little mother of pearl pearls I don't know if you can see can you see how iridescent they are like they're not your normal matte pearls at all so I think they're great for like on the waves because it's mother of pearl it's kind of watery if you know what I mean so we'll just maybe just pop a little one um Sort of as we go through the through the sea just to have a little bit of sparkle always need a bit of sparkle maybe something at the back of the boat there we go just so that you've got a little a little glimpse of something that's a bit sparkly they're really nice pearls really nice so Oh, what have we got? Those pearls are your favourite. Are you on your second pack already, Kim? Yeah, I know. They're fab, aren't they? Really cool. Yeah, I only opened my pack um, last week and I'm like, oh my goodness, why have I not found these before? They are definitely... It's those and the new Love Hearts are also really amazing. I'll do those another day. Um, but yeah, so that's that card. And I think that kind of takes me kind of to where I want it to be really at this point, because I don't want to overwhelm anybody who's new and thinking, oh, my goodness, how did she tell from that to that to that? So some really simple ways of using your stamp set that you get with your kit and the kit, uh, the one that we have here is your your my anchor card kit. OK, so write that down. Remember that. Um, I did have one more. No, I'm not going to do it because it would take too long. Um, but it's the You're My Anchor card kit, and it comes with this, and you'll get the Pacific Point. That's that dark blue. So you'll already get that ink pad um, as part of it. And you'll be able to make, as I say, these 10, 10 of these little cards. There's a, there's more designs than this with the little blue envelopes. Okay, so that's great. Uh, and then you'll be able to move on if you buy some note cards or you could make these full size. These could easily be A6 size cards as well, uh, which is like our normal. That's an A6 size card. So our note cards are slightly smaller. OK, but you've got that too. Um, so we've made a couple of those. And then I'll take it up another notch and add that other stamp set in just so that you can expand without having to expand like you. You know, you haven't got to buy entirely new stuff. You just have to keep adding one piece at a time to what you already have. And then you can see how you can build things up. So the news I have for you, which is very exciting. There's two things. First of all, I'm going to give a card away. So you need to have commented. So if you haven't commented yet and you like what I do, um, please let me know. But also you could be in with a chance of winning one of these cards in the post. Um, but the second thing I wanted to tell you was that um, kits, we're going to have a special offer on kits coming on Wednesday. OK, so I thought I'm not going to leave it till next Monday because I'm actually not going to be here next Monday because um, next Monday is holidays. So I'm actually going to take some time off. But um, you might see me on the road somewhere. That's all I'm going to say. But the kits are going on a special offer on Wednesday. So we're going to have a BOGO, which is fab because we've not had a BOGO on kits before ever, as far as I'm aware. So we are going to go with. Um, it's going to be buy one, get one half price. Oh, that was a bit low. We need to we need to have that on, but not quite so bright there we go let's turn that down a little um yes so it's going to be a bogo so it's going to be buy one get one half price and you're going to get because stamping up is different to all these other companies that are out there you're going to get the most expensive one half price not the cheapest no 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 the most expensive one so if you buy a all-inclusive kit that doesn't have stamps in it and then you buy an all-inclusive kit that does have stamps in it it will be the one with stamps at half price. Isn't that amazing? 
so that happens on wednesday and i'm hoping we might have some new kits coming soon as well but we haven't got news yet i know that they're, they're on their way to us um but we might have some new kits uh for wednesday as well but we, i don't have news on that yet but if you are on my um if you're on my subscriber email list so you're going to get my emails uh then you will find out more about that over the coming days and weeks and it's, it's just for the month of june so you don't have to buy them on wednesday it's not just one day it's not a flash sale it's the whole of the whole of june you'll have a buy one get one half price offer on kits which is great um but if you've been inspired by this then you just need to add one of those to your wish list on your shop my shop uh which can show you show you is here queenpipcards.com forward slash store OK, and I use store for my online store. If you put shop, you'll go to my retired products. So don't do that because that's not on a bogo. Um, you want to go and does it? It's, so <laughs> you want to go to queenpitcards.com forward slash store. Uh, and that will work uh, for you in terms of grabbing yourself uh, kits at special offer. Um, um, so, yes, Joe. Wow. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? Cheryl says she's off to look at the kits. Julie says, thank you for the variety of ideas. That's lovely. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's cool. And Paula says, thank you for sharing. Well, I hope I've cheered up your morning over there in Wyoming uh, and that you're having a fun time. So now let us sort out the small matter of sending out a card to somebody. So I'm going to get that ready over here. So make sure you've put your, um, put any kind of comment, doesn't have to be a doesn't have to be a great comment. Could be any kind of comment. And then we will. I'm just going to share my screen. That one. Actually, we can do this one. OK, so here we go. Choose the broadcast. This is the one that we're now doing live. So we're going to do this one now. And we're going to start collecting comments. 15. That's not bad, considering it's school holiday. But lots of people are away. So here we go. Dun, 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 dun. let's see who has won a card could be anybody i love this bit i love this bit it, it's julie yay julie you need to pm me your address my lovely and then i can send that down to oz that would be fantastic um yeah that'd be cool okay so hopefully you have enjoyed um what I've shared with you today and showing you that the kits can be really versatile if you just sort of take the chance with them and don't just put them in the box and forget about them and go oh I've done that kit now it's all done um, you can do so much more with with um, the stamps and the ink that you get from your card kits so I hope I have inspired you to do that I kind of like this one as well with all the things Julie you have to tell me which one you prefer and you'll get that one in the post <laughs> um, so yeah just because, you know, what if I'm going to send it to Australia, I might as well send one that you really, really like. <laughs> but yeah, so they're, they're, they're cute cards and I think, you know, they get overlooked. So I hope I've changed your mind and got you more into the spirit, spirit of using kits and seeing them in a different light. So go back and have a look at any stamp sets that you've got, old kits, past kits. Lots of them have got like little elements and details in them that you might not have noticed. Little flowers, starfish, um, you know, uh, really good words and sentiments i actually have a, a set of stamps that's i think from every kit that i've ever bought um just because occasionally they have exactly the right words that i want to say so it's always good to keep your kits and keep your little stamps you can pop them into a one of our clear cases you know one of our stamp cases uh and keep them that way keeps them safe and at least you know then where they are and yeah, then you can play with them and maybe, you know, merge them together, join them with other things. A lot of kits also have elements in them that work with bigger stamp sets like the sailing boats. It's just that they don't necessarily tell you that. You have to kind of figure it out for yourself or watch me and I'll show you how. So um, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you had a Reedy Monday, Reedy Monday pick me up video today. Uh, I will see you. I, I will see you next week, but probably not it it'll it might not be on time <laughs> uh, i'll be on the road so um yes it won't be I, i'm just going to drop in and say hi next week so apart from that enjoy and don't forget two things so you can subscribe to my um emails and you'll find out 
um, more about stuff. So you can just do that forward slash subscribe. That's easy peasy. Gets you on my emailing list. Um, the kits come out on Wednesday, like I say, at the, at the BOGO. So don't buy them now. Wait until Wednesday. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to say finally is that card making know-how is closing tomorrow night. OK, we're going to close the doors to the um, Card Making Know How Academy membership where you can learn lots more about the um, all of the techniques and all of the stuff behind the scenes about what is. So, every, so everything from all the, type, all the types of inks that we have, why we have so many different inks, what you use them all for, heat embossing, fancy folds, watercolouring, alcohol markers, how to cut and layer your cards perfectly so that all of your cards, no matter what size, card blank you're starting with are always going to turn out perfectly um so if you want to come in and join the membership at the price is now then you will need to get in before the doors shut tomorrow night after that i'm looking after my current members we're doing a little bit of rejigging inside the membership we are um tidying things up tightening things up relaunching a few bits adding some extra um specific courses and little mini courses in there for people so then i'll be reopening the doors later this year but i'm not quite sure when yet so just bear with me until then but so if you want to get in you need to get in now and you can do that by going to queenpitcast.com forward slash cmkh and i think finally that is it <laughs> so thanks ever so much for watching all the way through to the end love you loads thank you everybody for being so wonderful and for giving all your input into stuff because it doesn't make uh, it's not the same if you don't comment and share ideas and and say what you like and what you don't like and ask questions and all that kind of stuff so thank you so much for doing that and i will see you again soon take care bye bye